Hi there, it's Charlie Caldwell here, founder of Internet Services Group and the New Internet Success Academy and creator of the Web Starter Kit, the Total Internet Marketing Blueprint, and Show Up Online Now, which are all ways that I go through and help individuals, businesses, and organizations use the power of the internet to grow their business and improve lives. And one of the things that I love to do is listen to what people's biggest challenges and frustrations are, and then answer them in easy to understand, teachable points. And one of the teachable points that I've come up with in the last year to answer the biggest question people ask in regard to maintaining a healthy online presence is what do I have to do online and what can I do online? And I like to sum that all up in what I like to call my drives for success. What I want you to know about the drives for success is that over the last five years we've gone through and tested all of them. So there's thousands of hours of time involved in these drives and also there's hundreds of thousands of dollars in terms of tested and measured marketing in these drives as well. The other thing that we've done is we measure all of them. We make sure that these are all things that have created success for business and organizations. It's really important you understand that because a lot of people in our business, they like to talk speculatively and they like to say things like, yeah, you should go do this, you should go do that. I like to talk from the results perspective. So what I want you to understand is there's two core drives and the first one is what I like to call the baseline drives. And what I want you to think about are these are the basic things you have to have in play in order to make sure you're maintaining a healthy online presence that can help you reach your goal. And most people that we work with, their goal is to create leads, meaning have people online call or contact or at least give you an email address so you can build your relationship with them. The second drive is the forward drives. And these are things that amplify the messages and the things done in the baseline drives. You'll get that all in just a minute. So let's go through these in a little more detail. The first thing that I want you to understand is that there's nine baseline drives. These are the nine basic things you want to maintain and have some strategy around assuring that you're keeping updated over time consistently if you can do that. So here we go. The first baseline drive is what we like to call your foundation and that's simply saying you know what here's what we're trying to attract online here's the customers we're trying to attract here's the services solutions or products that we offer and these are the ones that are highest priority maybe highest profit most fulfilling and maybe least risk and I have a worksheet that you can get to kind of sort that stuff out and feel free to write this address down it's bit.ly slash charlie and that's c-h-a-r-l-y loves me. You know I do. And the reality of it is that form will help you get a concept down for what your foundation should be. What you're really trying to achieve in your foundation is simply saying, you know what, here's the services, solutions, or products we provide. Here's the customers that we're going after. And then you can take that information and put it in different places. I'll go over that in just a second with you. So that's the first baseline drive, foundation. The second one, campaigns really important that you say of all the services, solutions, or products we provide, here's the ones we really want to bring the most attention to online. A lot of times when we do that work, we look out and see how people are searching, using different phrasing, if you will, to find what you provide, and then we try to just match, you know, these are the, the campaigns that we're going to put in play to reach out to them in a consistent, thorough fashion over time. That's a second baseline drive, is creating campaigns. The third baseline drive is business listings. You know, there's a lot of people we've worked with over the years that simply have their business listed in places like Google Local Places and Merchant Circle and Thumbtack.com and they get calls that turn into sales just from that work. They don't even have a website in some cases. It's kind of crazy how that plays out. I've been in the business about 18 years and, and saying that, you know what, you don't really need a website anymore to get calls. That's kind of crazy when you think about it. <laughs> so that's the third baseline drive business listings. A side note on that is you want to make sure if you get business listings established for your business online that you're actively pursuing reviews because that helps keep your business listings fresh. And you can do that by emailing people and saying, hey, you know what, if you liked our service or our solution or our product, go through and tell us about it right here and then link right to the place where they can review you. That's the third baseline drive. The fourth baseline drive, your website really important that if you have a website that you're updating it consistently and there's a specific strategy that we go over with that but it's just a matter of making sure that you're tending to it and keeping it active and letting people know you know hey over here we have some helpful information and we're adding to it in a consistent fashion not only do people like that but Google loves that really important that's the fourth baseline drive the fifth your blog 
Now this is optional, but if you have a blog, and we like to leverage blogs to connect with and tell stories and direct people into our website, it's kind of part of this funnel strategy, if you will, but the reality of it is you want to make sure you're updating that. The beautiful part today is that you can go through and create a lot of blog posts in advance, and then you can have them auto-publish on dates that you set. And that's part of the strategy in my seven fundamentals that I talk about of doing the work consistently, continually, and thoroughly. And it works out real well when you put that into play. So number five, baseline drive, your blog. The sixth baseline drive is learn-based incentives. And this is something that I've sort of created over the last three years to help people understand, you know, it's really difficult sometimes to go through and create blog posts every two weeks. But if you create a learn-based incentive, which could be like a guide or an ebook or a checklist around one of your products, services, or solutions and exactly how people can use it or how or 10 tips about it, something like that. You can leverage the content in it for your blog post. Just take one tip every couple weeks and put it in the blog. And then you can leverage it as well as a incentive for people to give you an email address in order to get it. What I mean by that is if you have a PDF out there and you say, here's the 10 tips for keeping your grass green, but you have to give me an email address to get it, you've just sort of pre-qualified somebody for wanting to get their grass green. If you're a lawn care company, that's a great way to start a relationship online. It's also a great way to turn those anonymous visitors into your site or into your blog into non-anonymous people that you at least have an email address for that you can work to build your relationship with. I go into a hefty deep dive in learn-based incentives in my total internet marketing blueprint and then when I work with people individually in our web marketing report and action plan, those kind of things, we talk about how we can leverage that and how we can strategically put that out over time and finally how we can tie it into the other baseline drive around campaigns. It all ties together when you get that, it works out so well. All right, so that's the sixth baseline drive, learn-based incentive. The next one, number seven, Email marketing. This is the part that most businesses misfire on. They don't have a consistent plan in play and they don't understand what generates the most success in email marketing. And I gotta tell you, what we found over the last, I'd say last eight years now, is that personal emails strategically placed out over time that add value, meaning you're helping people from here to here, adding value to their life, are the best way to go. And every so often you can pepper in maybe a sales message. But more often than not, you wanna give, give, give to receive. It's real important you get that down. You know, branded newsletters are good, but the ones that seem to generate the most results are messages from me to you sent out to everybody that's your customer or a potential customer in that way. So email marketing is key. We do a lot of work in that when we create campaigns for people. Email marketing, seventh baseline drive. All right, number eight is news releases. One of the things Google loves more than anything else is fresh content and it loves news. And what we found over the years is that news releases, if they're properly placed within your website, get indexed faster and rank higher than any other kind of content in your site. It's really neat how that plays out, but the reality of it is you have to have as part of your basic strategy or your baseline drives, news releases in play. You can think about having one, say, every quarter and making sure that it's engineered in the right way to bring awareness to a specific phrase or a specific part of your business that you're really trying to let people know about. Next baseline drive, number nine, is automatic status updates. This answers the common question so many people have, and that is, what do I say on social media and how often do I have to say it? Well, what we did about, I think, four years ago now, I went through and I created this automatic status update strategy. And I got to tell you, first and foremost, that a lot of people tell you, well, don't automate updates in that way. But it's really important you understand you want to keep them personal. You just want to leverage technology to make sure they're going out consistently. Because guess what? In Google's world and in the world of connecting with people, consistency wins. And that's the part that most people misfire on. As a matter of fact, when I do my free web reviews, I'll tell people, you know what, they're misfiring because they don't have a consistent campaign calendar in place and they're not consistently putting information out. It's kind of hit or miss. Well, there's ways to automate this, automatic status updates, and it's really important you have this strategy in play to assure that you're reaching out about three times a week with specific updates of specific types for keeping your presence consistent online and also if you engineer it right it helps increase your rank of your website and that is a huge bonus because just recently google and bing and yahoo have gone through and give extra credit 
for social media updates because they're actually indexing those now and then they're giving credit for the links that those create. Remember, part of the game of making sure that your website starts to rank and show up higher and higher in the search engines is making sure you're getting links from other places to your website or to the specific pages within your website. You know, so many people find this stuff so overwhelming, but one of the beauties of my Total Internet Marketing Blueprint course is that, you know, you can take your time, go through each step, watch the videos because every video that I have talks about creation and mindset and then it talks about marketing. Okay, now that you understand that, here's how we go out and produce the message and promote the message. And then I give you specific worksheets and specific examples and it helps you really understand this is how they should look. This is how they should talk. This is the feeling that you want to portray. That is the nine baseline drives. And what I want you to think about is this. This is a term that I love. Baseline drives equal MED. Probably going, what is MED? <laughs> it's one of my favorite terms. Minimum effective dose. And that simply means here's the minimum things that we need to go out and do just to make sure we have a consistent, healthy online presence. That's what the baseline drives are about. Now, with the forward drives, the second core drive, the forward drives, we go through and amplify the message that we've created with the baseline drives. And what I mean by that is that you can take the learn-based incentive content that you created in the form of a guide or a checklist or, a, or an ebook, something like that, and you can go through and make a video around it and then promote the video and then drive people to, you know, if you like this video, go over here and get this ebook or guide or checklist, but they have to give you an email address. Hopefully you can see how this plays out because if you're truly adding value to people out there on the internet, the customers you're trying to reach and the product services or solutions you're trying to promote, they will go through and get that because they really understand that you're being authentic, you're being abundant, and most importantly, you're really helping them through a process. You're probably gathering now that one of the forward drives is videos, and you're right. So let's go ahead and go through the forward drives. Again, these are the things that amplify the message created in the baseline drives. Here we go. The first one, social networking. There's one thing to participate by posting updates. It's a whole nother animal to go out and actively reach out with a strategy to bring in more people that are directly related to who you're trying to attract. And that's one of the biggest points that I try to make. So many people talk about, oh, I got 2,000 followers. Then I ask them, are these 2,000 followers people that uh, would buy what you have to offer or that you can add value to your life or are they just 2,000 random followers? And more often than not, the random followers. It's real important you have a strategy in play to bring in the right kind of people and that you're reaching out into the world and helping them with valuable information. And that comes back down to that baseline drive learn-based incentives. It's really neat when you get that and you can add value through these learn-based incentives because they can be leveraged in so many ways. So the first forward drive, social networking. The second forward drive, online ads. One of the craziest things I tell people, and a lot of people are in disbelief about it, is that you can put an online ad out there, keyword enrich its title, and it shows up in Google within hours. And it's because like Craigslist and OLX and Oodle and all these different places, they are indexed consistently because they're popular by Google. And if you're in alignment with how your customers are searching, you can get results quickly because they're indexed fast around a keyword phrase that your customers are typing. It could be a pain point. You know, not too long ago we did a workshop and one of the things was a plumber and I said, what's the biggest pain point of the people in the area that you, you're trying to reach out to and attract customers in? And he goes, you know what? They have stinky water. So what we did is we put in, hey, people in this area, do you have stinky water? We did this workshop on a Friday. By the following Tuesday, he had four phone calls directly from the ad and the craziest part, he converted three of them into actual business just through an online ad. That's the power of this. The reason it's a forward drive is because you can leverage online ads to point to the baseline work that you've done. For example, you can leverage an online ad to go out and reach out to that audience and then say, you know, if you want to know some things right now, go over here and pick up this learn-based incentive. You see how this funnel's happening? And when you tie it around a strategic campaign, that message gets amplified like crazy. So important to me you get that. It's cool when it all plays out. That's the second forward drive. Here we go with the third forward drive, videos. I kind of already mentioned this, but it's really a matter of doing kind of like what I'm doing right now, direct to camera 
or screencasting, which is where you simply show pictures and do a voiceover and kind of a slideshow, and then you talk about it, you know, helping people through a process. The biggest thing I can recommend to you if you do the baseline work is to leverage the content you've made in the baseline drives in the videos. And then in the next item, which we'll go over, which is photos, you can leverage a lot of the content that you create and put into your learn-based incentives in terms of photos, and you can do things like pin them on Pinterest or Instagram them and reach out to those audiences or create a very strategic photo gallery in your Facebook business page where you release maybe one or two photos every couple days. This is something I call and I've created called slow dose marketing. And with every picture, you want to make sure it's an emotional based picture and that you describe it emotionally and you always, always, always link to a page in your baseline work that relates to whatever the photo is about. And that's the part most people miss. And that's the part that generates the conversion or generates the actual trackable click if you will, is to have a link in the bottom of every picture. Hopefully that helps you, hopefully that serves you. So the fourth forward drive, photos. Very powerful today, especially if there's a strategy and a campaign tied to it. All right, the fifth forward drive is podcasts. This is where you can go through, record your voice using a program like GarageBand on the Mac or Sound Recorder on the PC, like Windows 7 has Sound Recorder in it. And then you take that message and you can actually, for free, put it in iTunes and then let people know, you know, I'm helping you understand something. And like, get this, it can be based off of your baseline drive of learn-based incentives. You can simply say the content and produce that in a way that people can hear it because there's a lot of people out there that are commuting, that are walking, that are running and they got their earbuds in. They want to hear things that add value to their life. If you're the company or you're the person that goes through and takes that information and makes it available that way, it's just another way to reach out today. In one of my educational videos, I talk about the three ways people want to connect with you. And one of them is they want to read what you have. That's the most common way, website content, blog content. They want to hear what you have through podcasts and they want to see what you have through videos. And when you get those three, it's really important because of today, the mobile market, these are the people using smartphones and tablets. They're the people that you really want to connect with because guess what? By the year 2015, they're thinking that mobile users will trump or overcome PC users in the average amount of people accessing the web. It's interesting how that mobile market is growing so fast. The iPhone 5 was recently released and within four days they sold 5 million of them. You got to think about a lot of the people that bought them probably already have phones and they're going to hand those phones down like they may already have an iPhone 3 or a 4 and they hand those phones down so that mass in four days, five, that's just crazy. But the reality of it all is this, you want to make sure that your business and your message is going out in those places to reach them however they want to see it, hear it or experience you. It's great when you get that. So that's the fifth forward drive audio podcast. The sixth one, surveys. This is one of the most powerful forward drives we put in play to really help people understand what their customers are really challenged or frustrated about, what their fears are and what their dreams are. It's great to put into your campaign about every quarter, every half year, just a, hey guys, here's what's going on and we want to understand from you how we can help you best. Ask them very simple questions and if you want an example of this, feel free to go to my online questionnaire that's available at bit.ly slash C, the number two, questions. And it's one required question and all it says is, hey, if there's one educational or informative video I can create for you that would answer a challenge or frustration you're having to anything online, let me know what it is. I gotta tell you, I get responses on that quite often and they're so helpful for me when I go through and actually make the videos that service the common challenges and frustrations that people have. It's a really great catalyst to go out there, reach out to them, listen, and then turn that information around. It could be through an email blast, could be through a blog post, you could tie it into a new learn-based incentive, and then you can propel that message through some of these forward drives. Hopefully this is all coming together for you. So that's number six, surveys. The seventh forward drive, opportunity scouting. And this is a huge thing today, and a lot of people that I talk to don't even fathom the reality of how this plays out, but there's thousands of people online 
talking and conversing in online forums, online groups, online discussion boards, all these kinds of places. And what's really important for you to understand is there's a strategic way to go out and find the ones that relate to the customer you're trying to attract around the products, services, or solutions you're trying to promote. And then you can go through and do what I like to call in the eighth forward drive, real-time market. And what that is, is to go out there and add value in those communities. Work within the rule set that they have. Some of them will not let you, for example, link to more resources over here in your blog or in your website or to one of your learn-based incentives. But you can go through and participate out there and simply leave with your name and maybe your business name. If people think that you've added enough value, they actually Google you and come right to your information anyway. But it's really great when you get the idea of real-time marketing. And I gotta tell you, there's companies out there today that spend 75, 90,000 a year on employees just to go out there and opportunity to scout and then plant seeds of value in these different online groups and forums. A great example of this is AARP has a whole section dedicated to forums wrapped around everything that the 50 plus age group wants to know about or discusses, such things as leisure, health, travel, all these kinds of things. So if your business is, or organization is loosely related to any of that, it makes sense to go out on Opportunity Scout. And all Opportunity Scouting is really just going through and saying, you know, is there any opportunity out here if we go through and participate? Real-time marketing is actually going through and participating with a strategy. It's really great when you get these two forward drives. Again, your whole goal is to use your base, baseline work and then bring in people to it. But the right people for the right products, the right services, the right solutions. Hey, if this stuff feels overwhelming to you, you're not alone. The reality of it all is it's just learning through repetition and making sure that you get this. So feel free to watch this video as much as you want to understand it. Take notes if you want to. And just know that if you get overwhelmed or you get frustrated with some of this stuff, ask me or post your frustration in my little questionnaire that I just gave you, bit.ly slash c2questions, and I'll make specific videos for you that will help you through that. One of the things that I love is with the video work that I'm doing is that you have the capacity to go through, watch these videos to get perspective and keep perspective and have the right mindset as you move through creating campaigns, creating learn-based incentives, updating blogs, updating websites, doing the baseline work, and then doing the amplification work in the forward drives. Works out real well when you get all that and put it into play. So with that, let's get back on track here. Eighth forward drive real-time marketing. And the final forward drive is ethical link building. And all you really need to know, in my seven fundamentals of online success, I talk about getting connected. And one of the ways that sites, websites, and blogs show up higher and higher in the natural search results is by getting links from other popular and relevant places is that there's strategies out there that relate to a lot of the stuff that I've already gone over, especially in the real-time marketing work, where you can go out and plant seeds and create links. And what happens is Google sees those links and it helps build your rank or build your ranking in the actual natural search results. So you show up higher and higher based on this work. It's really sweet when you work the way we do in the sense that we're gonna create this basic work then we're going to go out and do some forward work where we're going to amplify our message. But it's not only helping communities, it's helping people. It's trying to bring in the people we want to attract. But as a side effect, we're building rank because we're doing things that are ethical and that relate to bringing in links. And that's what ethical link building is about. You know, I do a lot of um, continuing education. And I go through these webinars and these, these uh, e-books and guides and all this kind of stuff. And this whole thing is a massive market of potential work for people. This whole link building realm, there's thousands of people around the world that do this. That's their entire job is to go out there, find related things, and then link to specific websites. Now there's a lot of people that do it in what we call the black hat world and they're not doing it the right way. They're, a great example of this would be if, if you hired a company like in India and they said, hey, we're gonna bring you a thousand links in a month. And then all of a sudden you had all these links from Taiwan. That probably isn't your target market, but that's what's happening. So it's real important. That's why I put the word ethical in here is that whatever we do is truly adding value and bringing in the right people connecting with the right people around our most profitable, our most fulfilling, maybe least risk product, service, solution. Hopefully that's all coming together for you. So with all that, forward drives equal amplify.
Just think of it that way. There are things that you don't have to do, but you can do. And if you do them right, they really propel, promote, and get your message out there in a really hefty way. It works out so well when you put it in play. So don't worry about any of this. It's really important because you can go through this video over and over again to get it. There's resources online that I've created that can help you through this process and you can watch them again and again. You know, I see a lot of people and it finally clicks with them. You know, oh, that's what he meant when he talked about learn-based incentives. Because at first you hear it, you're like, I don't really understand exactly how that plays out or how it's created in those kind of ways. Um, I spend a lot of time making sure that people understand this stuff. It's really important to me that you're doing this work, doing it right, because one of the things that I am all about I want you to remember this, is really helping you grow your business, improve your life authentically and purposefully today. But you have to understand all of the things that are in play to make sure you stay on that line of ethics and abundance and authenticity. I hope this has been helpful for you. The forward, the baseline drives, great ways to go through, get your message out there, tie it around a strategy, works out real well. Take care, have a good day.